Hi, everybody. John PT, Dan and Sandler Training. How are we doing, Dan? Hey, John. Good. Yourself? I am well. I am well. Excellent. So um, there are a lot of books going around these days on habits. Mm. Um, my wife recently read Atomic Habits. There, there's just a bunch of them. There's a series of them. And I was thinking a little bit about habits and the sales environment and the impact they have on the excellence or lack thereof of the salesperson. Can you talk about habits um, not just from a standpoint of how they're impactful on the sales side, but how we can get better at them or evaluate our habits or consider what changes we need to make. So let me reverse and ask you a question. Yeah. John, what do you think are the habits of a highly successful salesperson? Activity, activity, activity. They're constantly active. And activity um, meaning what? Meaning they're always doing the behaviors that are going to lead to the outcomes they're looking for. And they're not focused on the outcomes. They're solely focused on the behaviors. Perfect. So prospecting, I would label that as. Prospecting, what, all that kind of stuff. Yep. What might be another habit of a highly successful salesperson? Their, their demeanor and their ability to connect with humans. Right. So let's just take those two things. The way that they can connect with other people and doing the behaviors, right? So if I'm a salesperson watching this, this video, and I say to myself, I want to be a highly successful salesperson. Yep. Would it not make sense that I create a list of all the things I think a highly successful salesperson does, thinks, reads, you know, yep. believes? And I, I create that list and I go, okay, if I want to be a highly successful salesperson, these are the things that I want to work on. These are the areas that I want to get great at to improve upon. And doing so will make me a highly successful salesperson. And you could do that for any aspect of, of your career, management, ownership, whatever. You could do it for any aspect of your life, relationships, eating habits, exercise, whatever. Is yeah. figure out what are the habits of someone in that who's highly successful. Yeah, I think the biggest thing then from that is how self-aware you are. So if you've got those things, are you self-aware enough to know, hey, these are the things I'm doing well and these are the ones I'm not? Right. Can you be honest with yourself and can you start right. to change and adapt and, and incorporate some of those into the mix? So I'll share with you a, a bruise that I have, okay? okay. <laughs> Don't beat me up here. I, I, at the end of last year, there were three deals that I was working on that all fell apart. So about mid-January, I put them on my to-do list just to reach out to the owner and see what's going on. And they've been on there since mid-January. Every mm -hmm. day I look at that to-do mm -hmm. list and they're on there and they're on there. Yeah. And this morning as I was prepping for this as well, for this call, I said, what would a highly successful salesperson do in this situation? <laughs> and I go, yep. they wouldn't leave them on the to-do list for a month. They would make yep. the call. And so, uh, but I still didn't want to do it being honest yeah so here's what i did i there there were three of them so i was on my to-do list i always go what am i doing first what am i doing second what am i doing third and i put them after number three so four five and six and i got through the first second and third thing on my <laughs> to-do list and the fourth thing was to reach out to that first deal that went south yep and i gotta tell you everything inside of me wanted to just skip but what does a highly successful salesperson do and boom, I made the call, made right? The call. And and so you force yourself to get it off my to-do list. I don't care what happens, just get it off yeah. there so I don't have to think about it anymore. So there's I, an example. But I think what's really big there, I, I appreciate you open that up about that is because I think too many people think of you as a sales coach that you don't deal with the same things they deal with. Yeah. And you do that. You just gave a screaming example of we've all had those lists and we're going at all right, yeah, that can wait till tomorrow. I can push it one more day. Yeah. <laughs> we all play those games. So that's uh, good stuff. All right, everybody. See you again tomorrow. Have fun.